Hello, and welcome to Mouse vs. Python. I'm your host, Mike Driscoll, and today we're going to talk about debugging a textual application in Python. So textual is a Python, uh, Python package that you can use to create a TUI, or a text-based user interface, which kind of looks like this. You can kind of see there's, an, there's an, a button over here, and we're going to actually create the code to run that button. And the idea is um, we want to create it, and then we want to debug it. And so one of the, the things that makes uh, creating TUIs interesting is that it's not always easy to know how you're going to debug something. So, you know, with a regular Python app, you can just put debug uh, marker uh, breakpoints in your code, and everything works the way you would expect. But the problem with uh, textual is that the breakpoints aren't really going to happen very well because it's running you have to run it in the terminal. And most terminals inside of like Wing or PyCharm or VS Code, they're not made to be um, interacted with in the same way that you would uh, with like um, iterm2 or even command prompt. You can't really like click on buttons and stuff in those most of the time. So that just makes things kind of, kind of difficult because you want to create your application and you want to be able to debug it. And so I'm just going to show you how you might debug your code if you're creating a textural app. So let's go ahead and figure this out. I'm going to create a button, and it's just going to be called um, the OK button. I don't really care about anything else. We're just going to yield. Oh, no. We need to change the background so it's easier to see. So we'll do style. Except I can't type when um, people are watching me. Styles.background. Let's just change it to a gold button, and then we can yield it out. And now we just need to run our code. And then we're going to try to debug it. So let's see if we can get this to work. Our app equals button app, and then app.run. OK. Now we jump over here, and we run our code, and we have a gold button. Great. Now we can hit OK, and we want to figure out, you know, how do we know if we're actually clicking the OK button? So first things first, we need to add a way to catch the, catch the event. So in textual, you can use the keyword on something. In this case, I know that the event for um, pressing a button is called button pressed. So if you use on button pressed as your event handler name, You'll be able to catch that. This one's not going to return anything. But if I want to print that I called this, um, called button event handler, let's see if this will work. This will be a nice little way to debug it and just see you know, what happens. So I'm going to run it. I hit OK. But the problem is that you, you know, textual has taken over my terminal, and you can't see any output. Let's try killing it. If you kill it, you still don't see the printed output. So how do you know if your event handler is actually happening? Well, I mean, you can do a couple of different things. You could actually make the event handler do something. We could have it like exit, for example. That would be one way to tell that we're actually reaching where we want to reach. And that works, and that's great. But most of the time, you don't want to exit an application to prove that you reached a certain point in the application. So the better way to do it is to use um, dev mode. So textual comes with a dev mode, which I'm going to show you. You just use the textual command, and we're going to use console, and we're going to run that. And so now we're in textual development console, and this is going to capture all kinds of output. You can see it even gives you a nice hint, textual run dash dash dev myapp.py. So that's what we need to do over here, textual run python3, or not python3. Um, text button, and we do the dash dash dev. All right, so now we have that. We'll switch back. And you can see we have all kinds of output. Great. This is good. So we can see here we got focus was removed. We got some mount stuff. It's a little bit overwhelming, but let's see what happens if we put OK now. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to exit. Let's jump back over here. And you can see there's our text called button event handler. So that's one way to log out and to get that log in uh, the textual console. Now, the console is, like I said, verbose. So let's change that up a little bit. 
um, console. I think if you do dash x, and let's say we want to get rid of events. I think I think this will work. So now if you jump back over here and rerun this one, um, you can see there's a lot less uh, noise in here. So that when we hit our hit our OK button and jump back over here, you can see there's the event handler. All right. So another thing you can do is you can also write self, and self refers to our app object. So if we actually had other classes that weren't based on the app object, you could do self.app. Maybe I should just do that here. Self.app.log. And you could do that this way as well. So let's say we rerun, we rerun this. Hit OK. It's going to exit. You're still going to get that, that code printed out or that string printed out that tells you that you ran your thing. So that is how you could do it. You could do log. I think there's like an info. Maybe it's why well, log.info. Let's try that. So let's uh, rerun this one more time. We'll hit OK again. We'll jump back over here. Still looks the same to me, so that's probably not really super helpful. But that kind of gives you a good idea of how to how to call it and just check and see this is this is where I'm at in my code. It's working the way I want it to. Um, another way to do it, we're just going to get rid of that, that little bit there. We're going to do self.app.notify. So notify is a handy way to tell your tell you that you've reached a certain point in your code. So um, we'll just say we'll just say you pressed a button. It still doesn't get you into the debugger, but at least you can tell where you're at in your code. So that's nice. Um, you don't need to run this in dev mode when you're using app not notify. In fact, why don't we just run this without that? So when you hit OK, you can see a little uh, notification pops up down here. You press a button with whatever text you put into it. Um, this notify lets you change a couple of things. You can change the color of the notification. You can give it a title, like maybe you want to say um, this is information or something like that. So now, um, now when we rerun this code and hit the button, you can see it's got this nicely printed printed there. Um, there's a severity option that lets you change basically the color. So I think the default is information. So there's like error and warning. So if we go back over here and rerun our code and hit OK, you can see that you know error is in red now. It's up to you. But those are like the, the the best ways to do it. There's also one more thing you could do, which is a little bit on the silly side, but there's also an app bell. So you could run that as well when you run your code. So that when you run it and you hit it, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a bell noise. The system bell will play. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but not it not every laptop even has that or even every desktop. Some people will disable it because the bell is so annoying. But that would be another way that you could tell that you reached a point in your code. Anyway, these are probably the three most common ways to um, check and debug your code, with Bell being a really silly option that almost nobody uses. But I saw that recently mentioned in the Textual Discord channel and thought I'd mention it anyway. So anyway, I hope you thought this was cool. Feel free to drop me some questions and subscribe to my channel if you found this interesting. Thanks so much for watching.